Hello everyone, and welcome to Gotcha News. I am your host, Samuel, and our very first news comes from Persona 5X will be collabing with Persona 5. Now this, my friends, is some extraordinary news as these are some of the two biggest brands, one one of the biggest brands in the gacha industry collabing with one of the biggest JRPGs of all time. This is monumentous for gaming as a whole. And I am so glad to witness such a thing. Oh my fucking god. Alright, you know, I've dropped the, the sarcasm a little bit. Um, <laughs> I've dropped the sarcasm a little bit. Um, <laughs> I mean, a bit odd. Um... <laughs> It's like, it's like, it's like, oh, you're collabing with yourself. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's just, that's so weird. I'm like, you know what? Fine. Fair enough, I guess. Fair enough. I mean, before people were in the comments down below, everyone, before everyone's like, oh, you know, Persona 5X is, you know, its own separate universe, its own spinoff. So technically it can still collab with Persona 5 without making it weird and all that. And like, I, I get that, right? I get that. I get that. I get that. But, like, really? Persona 5X collabing with Persona 5? Like, you're not even collabing with any of the older Personas, at the very least. You know what I mean? Because at least the other Personas, like, you know, they're different games. But, like, this is, this is like, this is like the spinoff collabing with the main game. Like, it's, it's that, that, that's like saying, that's like saying Pokemon Go collabing with Pokemon. And the collab characters are Pokemon. You know what I mean? Like, like the collab characters are the Pokemon in Pokemon Go. You know what I mean? Like, like, like you just like, 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 I, like people have pointed this out. Um, like for the red post, I was like showing, uh, you know, showing you guys earlier. You know, people were like, yeah, this is like basically just the Spider Man theme. And I'm like, you know what? That's so true. You know, the Spider Man pointing at each other. Like, you know what? That, that's true. That's fucking true. Honestly, that is just goddamn true. This is just. I don't know. And that's just, it's just so weird. Pers <laughs> the Persona 5 gotcha game. Collabing with the Persona 5 JRPG. Greatest collab of all time. Greatest collab. Uh, that being said, let's move on towards our next news. Genshin Impact dev Miyahoyo has become part of the top 15 most valued companies in the entire world. And valued at twenty three billion, and from this chart, it seems that they are the number one game developer in terms of value, in terms of their net worth, in terms of what they're made of. They are the most profitable. They are the most revenue gaining game company in the world, and that. Is insane. Like you know, like like I'm, I'm being I'm being serious. Like this, it, like this, like that, I'm being serious. Like this, that is insane. That is insane to think about. But you know, like oftentimes, right? Oftentimes, I mean, us people, you know, in the gacha community, we are a niche community, right? We are. We are a niche community. And before Genshin, I would say that you know nothing catched the mainstream media. Right, nothing captured the world until Genshin. Right, until Genshin came up and said, "You know what? I'll be the face of Gacha gaming. I'll be the face of this industry. And you know what? I will skyrocket towards the very top. And to the very top, they did. Like they're, they're beating out like goddamn, you know, uh, fucking EA, Riot Games, you know, Blizzard at this fucking point. They're ble they're beating out the best." The most biggest AAA video game developer studios. They're the beaten out to become the number one, you know, the number one uh, gaming company. And top 15 most profitable, most revenue seeking, uh, whatever economic term to describe the fact that, you know, they got a lot of cash. They got a lot of goddamn cash. That's all I'm trying to say. 
they got a lot of goddamn cash. And that is that is insane to think about. Because, like I said, before Genshin, the gacha community as a whole is very niche. And it still arguably is. But Genshin, Honkai Star Rail, or whatever the fuck Mihoyo is cooking, right? Whatever they cook, they just keep cooking, bro. They just keep cooking. And, you know, it all started with Genshin. You know what I mean? Obviously, they made other previous games. But, you know, my point is Genshin was that domino effect, right? You know, now it's Genshin, HSR, and then now ZZZ. You know what I mean? Like, MiHoYo are, are, are in their prime right now. And that is just insane to think about. That they're not just the face of Gacha, right? They're the face of the entire industry. The entire gaming industry, the entire media industry as a whole. And that is something crazy to think about. That like, oh, this fucking community where, oh, all we do is roll for waifus and just, you know, uh, <laughs> spend thousands of dollars on shit. How, you know, how, like, you know, how profitable, like, this this market is. And it, it's, it's crazy to think about that, like, yeah. Yeah, like, like, like it's the gacha community, right? It's so it's so so niche, so tiny. It's no one likes the gacha community, but yet despite all that, one of the, one of the developers in the industry turns out to be the biggest goddamn game company in the world, and that is just nuts. That is just nuts. I I, I saw like a post, right? I saw a post on the subreddit where it was like Genshin was. Like one of the most expensive games to ever to ever be made, but also one of the most like sale record breaking games of all time as well. You know what I mean? So it's it's like you lose a lot, right? Of like development, you lose a lot of money into this game, but you also gain a shitload. You gain like one billion times more, and like the devs are raking it in, dude. They're raking it in. So wow, that is that's that shit is I don't know, that shit is surprising to me. Like I knew I knew Mihoyo, you know, I knew they were very big, right? But it's crazy to think about that. After this, after Genshin, they are now the biggest company in the world in terms of gaming. And that is just crazy. That is just absolutely crazy. But yeah, that's that's all there is to gotcha news, yeah. When the world turns to shit, the only news source you can trust is Gotcha News, goddammit. My name is Samuel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!